Right, so I'm taking a look at Hammer Helm. It's currently in early access. In fact, looking at it, it's been in early access for two years. So I don't know where it's at at the moment. I haven't played it yet. It's the first time I'm, I'm launching it. Um, and we'll see what's what. So Alpha 13, so it's obviously in stage 13 of the Alpha, which is kind of worrying. It's been going on for two years and not even in a beta. So it could be a lot of problems. Or they're playing it down. They might be playing it down. It might be doing well. and They just don't want to get expectations high. We won't really know at the moment. Well, put VSync on. Not sure if you can use a controller yet. We'll have a try of that in a minute. Helpful tips. All right. Press left shift while running to sprint. You can chop trees and gather stones by hitting them with your weapon. Drop off collected wood at the wood pile inside the storehouse. Press left shift and click the craft button to use up a full stack of resources. Press tab to switch between your active quests. All right, well, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. New character, right, we'll do a, we'll do a bloke one. Oh, skin is actually skin. It's not like a like a predefined character. Um, tunic color. Almost feel like making a Zelda character, but maybe like a gruff dwarf-like one. Let's find green again. But that's the best green I'm getting out of this. Hairstyle. Um. Not really sure what looks best. That looks quite gruff, doesn't it? But it'll sort of hair colour. Quite like that red, to be honest. Might just go brown. Quite like that beard. Bleeding it. That looks like a musical instrument. Like a bagpipe. Is it bagpipe? Madness. So you actually can't go no beard. Well, let's do that. You know, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Enter the name. I'm going beardy. Beardy, because you've got beard. Loading game. I'm not sure what to expect from this. I'm, I'm half expecting an adventure. But we shall see. It is single player. That I know of. So, banished from your homeland for the rebellious acts of suggesting dwarves could live above ground. You have spent months wandering and seeking new fertile lands to start your life in the open air. You have finally found such a spot, far enough away from the stronghold as to not anger your old clan, but close enough that your success will attract others who, like you, are tired of living underground. As you build the town, they will happily come seek you out and live in their new home. They're not the only ones watching, however. As your town grows in wealth, so will the threat from the goblins and orcs. They've already begun building small encampments to prepare to attack the first dwarves who aren't protected by the underground fortress. Right, so. We are running. Your town, and it says something moved. So the town's called Mood, I guess. I do like the fact that all the resource information is displayed at the bottom. That's pretty um, formative. It's a lot there. And obviously, quick select at the top if you've got anything to put there. And a little mini map at the map at the top is pretty cool. So, all in all, too bad. Basic graphics, but. What is that? Well, the stamina's going down as we run. Right, have I not got a weapon yet? Press R, press I to open the inventory. So we've got an axe and we've got a shield. Oh, you do it like that, yeah? Uh, better if it had a shape, I think. Like a shape, because you'd know just by looking at it. Alright, so we haven't got any armor or anything. That's something to look forward to later. Here we go. Right, and shield is. Oh, it is the right one. Okay. So that looks like it's covered up, doesn't it? So we can't go back underground then. No. Can we gather stone from that by doing that or 
So it's smashing my eye. Oh yeah, we did get stone. I didn't know if it was going to break my bleeding axe. Well, let's see if we cut a tree down. Well, that's pretty easy. Oh, this tree is not fully grown yet. So, how do you know which ones are then? Right, starting out. So, I've pressed the tab button to give me a marker on the left side. It's giving me a little bit of information. Press P to open the build menu. So, I'm sure I've got to pick a place to stay though. So. How to build. Select the building. I think I'm right. I think it said the storehouse or stone house. Now I'm lost. Alright. Put it there, shall we? What else did it want me to do? Oh, and a wooden house. We'll do a wooden house. Town to be called. Uh, Were we dwarfy or dwarvy? Dwarfy Town. New townspeople choose to. See, he's lazy and a drunkard. So he's going to be a bit of a problem. Oaf and grumpy. Hungry but strong. I think he's going to be a problem. Yeah. Forget the bloke, he's useless. Right. Next task. Dangerous beginning. Speak with Canaan, the worker. Ask about the activity outside of town. So we're building our town now. That's Mara. Where's the other one? Quest. Hello, beardy. This is the perfect spot to build our town, but I saw some goblins to the east. I think they followed us uh, uh, us here and they didn't look friendly. Alright. Find the three monster camps near town and destroy them. So I'm following a marker on the map in the top right now. Um, I'm assuming it's taken. But then it has got a. Wait a minute. So it's got two markers. One there. I'm gonna make sure I'm not really losing it. I think it's taken me to the, that woman. Okay, so it is. Forget that. So it's it's taken me to the quest giver, and the other markers obviously to the camps. Here we go. I think it's where that fire is. It would make sense. Right, okay, so a little bit of information. Left click to attack. Uh, hitting a monster does not interrupt its attack. Block is obviously the right one. Middle click or R to use power attack. We'll see how we get on. I can't really see the keys properly with the microphone, sadly. Well, I'm putting me, put me guard up. He shields up. Run, mate, run. Right, that's our roll. Right, shield. So he's a lot more powerful than the other one, I think, because it's got more health. Nearly done, mate. I don't know where that um, magic comes from, or a lack of stamina maybe, because um, my player's wrecked. So he's 
With a bit of rest, his stamina's going up. Got some quality stone and wood. Treasure. Loot all. So that is leather. Some crafting materials. So that's only one battle, and there's two more, I think. And, uh, it's getting a bit dark. So I took a little bit of health problems, but we've got some potions which I don't want to waste. Go next one. No one there. No, no, it is. Ah, he's a spell caster. He's had the ability to cast various attack and defense spells. These spells cannot be blocked. You must roll or move away. So, move is that. Ah, oh, to dodge backwards. That spin I did, you had to press the shift button. So, it's a bit of a. Um, Shit, wait a minute. <laughs> we need to go. I need this. Okay, stop a minute. I can't. I don't know how you do it. There you are. That's what I want. So press one. It's frustrating, the buttons. Like that. So he's regenerated his health as soon as I left. Just butcher him before I die. <laughs> So it's only a weak potion, it doesn't just fully heal, I don't think. Well, I've done most of it. So I can see the last camp. Unless it's the same one. There's a mushroom there. Uh, boots. So I've got to be careful. There's two of them, so that's hilarious. His double roll ain't working at all. That roll back. Nope, just getting the uh, warning that I'm overdoing the... Thing. Come on. God, now. So the rolls are not working at all. Don't know why. It's going to affect my attack abilities. Damn, that actually hurt. One ain't working, so I can't seem to use my health potion. And I'm gonna die because he's right behind me. Why won't it work? Oh, that works. Now they're probably regenerated. Which is again a bit annoying. Yeah, look, it gives them all their health back. That's just stupid. Just stupid. The combat's a bit poor to say the least. So they've built that. Finesse the storehouse, and then they've built the so that's a storage facility, and that's just stone, that's just a wooden house. Nothing in it yet. I 
Right, let's get the stamina up before we go into any more fights. But the lack of a roll is, I find it really irritating because oh, that works. Look. Oh, wait a minute. All right, well, you have to press the shift button first. So if you try and press them together or the back button first, it just doesn't comprehend at all. It only rolls backwards, though. Strange. Because it did say you can roll sideways. See? Even said it, didn't it? Oh no, that one's it. Oh, right, the buttons are fiddly. I'd rather use a controller for something like this. Well, it felt pleasing, but I'm sure it's still one to beat. Okay, unwelcome guest. Something in the stone house is taking things without permission. Investigate it. You've gained a skill, so let's check that out while I'm walking about. Um, so on the left side here, of course, it says things. It's tough skin, reduces damage from physical attacks. Killing blow. When reduced to zero hit points, a chance to avoid defeat. That's a good idea. I'd rather just be stronger in general. Physical attacks, that's not magic attacks. That'd be the spell resistance. Do that one. But, wait a minute, I'm complaining about it, but it's okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm using the mouse and keyboard and I'm complaining about the dash, but you can actually use a controller. So I'm going to see about that, see how it gets on. It's cool, so they're not going to explain the buttons to me with this. Um, very weird. Oh, dear, that's really weird. Okay, so it's not complete controller optimized. The buttons are not even making sense. But at least the rolling's a bit easier. Use the bumper buttons to roll. Um, I don't even think it's going to be possible to roll backwards. Oh no. I don't even know I did that, so that's not going to happen often. Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. So that's easier, but I think using the menus, I'll have to use the mouse a bit. So it's going to be a bit of. Yeah. Okay, just wasted that one, but just getting used to the buttons. Fair enough. Don't know how to run without the uh, shift button. Right, something in the storehouse. There's a bleeding entrance to this thing. Ah, bloody goblin, look, coming through the pissing thing. All right, mate, let's see if I can hit him through there. I can. Abuse the glitch, abuse the glitch. Oh, he's got a bit of magic going on in there as well. See what he's up to, shall we? So there's no lock on button to lock on to him. But there's no lock on button which makes it quite fiddly to attack. The dodge does make it easy. So there was no loot, apart from the gold. So that's obviously where all my storage is. Right, press P to open the build menu. Let's just see. Ah, oh, okay, the X button does that. Well, he can't do it with a controller, so you've got to do some. Um, I didn't look at what I needed to do. Place another house and a metal work 
So. So another house. Is it a wooden house or a stone house? Oh, let's do another house. Who's that running around over there? Must be one of the helpers. So, okay, so you're getting people each time. Animal lover, green thumb. That's all right. Not sure with the white bit, whether that's a path or what it is. Did I am on it? So I am going to jump between controller and whatnot. Whatever I find easier in a given moment, but something that needs to be rectified by the full uh, release. Let's go and do some gathering while we wait, shall we? Oh yeah, wooden house is done. Done that pretty quick. So I'm starting to think maybe things like. Um, Stone are going to be quite important, I think. Right, okay. Press Shift and V to open the town menu and assign a metal worker. Uh, shift and V. Oh, Metal Worker 1. Which one would be better? That one. Well, how'd you do it? <laughs> it's not telling me how to assign her. Yeah. That's it, like that I guess. So we'll speak to Mara, I think it was. Mine the free copper or deposits in the town, so we're gonna to follow the map. Okay, so I came around and press the left trigger down in it, push it in. Of course it uses a stamina. Oh what's that? What is this? Oh, that's the ore. That wasn't even telling me to go there. Well, at least not yet. That I could tell. That is. Getting a few odd little achievements from it. Not sure if it does any damage to my weapon. I'll craft a new item. Maybe we get a new, new um, like a sword or something.
All right, so what have we got? So they're helmets. So we can do a sword, but we're going to need more stone. Almost got enough. Doesn't really say what benefit each item has, though. Is it better to go with a sword or a axe? So let's just get some more stone just quick. They really should have told me to get more stone before I went there, I think. That's a glitch, there's nothing there and it stopped me walking there, look. So just sword, maybe. Maybe I ain't the right stone. It's got 14 in red. Quality stone, is that not stone then? Looks like stone to me. Maybe you got to make ignorance. These. What's that? Oh, it's iron or stone. Of course, you don't make a bleeding stone sword now. Think about. It. Well, that's a bit thick. All right, so we got to make. Got to make copper anyway. So we've got loads of copper. What can we make? So we could do a copper hammer. We could do a copper axe and we can do a copper sword. There you go. So we've got a sword now, we can put that. Doesn't show any details as the strong things are though. Just try to see if I can get a helmet or something, but it looks like I can't. Right. <clears throat> Speak with Friffa the worker and ask to clear the mine entrance. Right, oh, okay, let me work our way over there. He's going the wrong way. Maybe just got to follow him. So we got our sword. Good lad. Good lad. Abandoned a long time ago, these mines are now home to many vile creatures. Before your townspeople can begin mining here, you must make it safe. Makes sense. Should be easier to do this. Um, so mushroom people. Just make sure I don't get hit regularly. Right. I don't like the fact you can't lock on. Makes it a bit risky. That's easy enough. So we got some copper. I think you get about 10 out of that. Oh, 11. Yeah, on we go. Um, Running out of this stuff, am I? I don't know how to pick up. Um, Mushrooms. Ah! Mate, I didn't even see you. I don't know where the magic comes from though. That's a bit, that's a bit odd. Two more, yeah. So he's got, probably got magic, I guess. Right, so I only have to focus on one now. So 
That's another load there. Monsters left two. Okay, I didn't notice that in the top corner. So it's telling me there's two left. Wait a minute, am I going back on myself? That's how I come in, isn't it? Wait a minute. This is confusing me. I'm sure I went down here like this. Right, so we can see another copper bit there. Which means there's a half of a couple of enemies. See who's which. So he's the more aggressive. Magic man's behind him, I guess. Right, okay. It might not even be a magic one, actually. Bit weak. Weak. Oh, nice mushrooms. We can make some potions out of that. Well, that's it. There we go. Press escape to leave the mines. That's a quick way of getting out. There's no point running around doing the same thing, is it? Okay, so it says press shift and V. Oh, there's another dungeon to destroy. Okay. So we need miners. That's my mental work up. Can't have claustrophobic one because they can't be inside, can they? Oh, no, I don't want to change her name. I don't know what's going on with this. I just want to be a miner. So it's quite fiddly at the minute. Nothing seems to bleed in happen. Look, I want a miner. Don't even let you. But now it's letting me. Very confusing. It never works first time. Didn't on the first one. Didn't work on that one. Are they supposed to have destroyed these mines? Oh, that is the mine. No, no, no. I need to get some potions. I won't last long. Noises. Um, in fact, we can do this copper, can't we? Wait, loads of it. We've got a hammer, shoulder armor. I can make some shoulder armor. Let's get a helmet, shall we? Should only need two of them. Sure, we're gonna need two of them. Oh, stamina potion as well. All right, so let's have a look. So, helmet. Go. 
So we've got some armor. Let's have a look. nice one. It's protected. Wait, where's my helmet? Why only got a helmet on? I don't know why. That's, that's obviously a problem, they're not assigning helmets. Destroy the dungeon. Find the dungeon near town and destroy it. Oh, it's active quests. So if I put it there, okay. So it was doing a bookworm task, but I wanted the, the destroy the dungeon task. Iron, really. Uh, because I did that energy, that, that damage resistance thing, my health, if you look, my hit points goes above 100 now. Not that it's exceeded it, but the ability is there to extend it. God, I've got a journey now. Ah, uh, must be this little toilet looking thing. Right, the dungeon terror seems ancient. You can hear the creatures moving about. Be on your guard. Oh, nice, full of gold. Oh, jam, they look, they're skeletons. The controls feel very wooden though, so it's not easy, and it's pretty dark down here. Can't see a thing. Just outdo them, they ain't got no speed, have they? Did say when they flash, they're about to hit. Or strikes. Or so not one attack done on me. I suppose. <laughs> so music sort of plays. He thinks that's oh, better. Happen. So it's the same bleeding enemies again, so it's quite dull, it's just repeated. Obviously it's still elf, so we have to remember that. But it needs a bit mixing up. Dungeon destroyer I got there. Achievement. So I think that means we've done the dungeon. Right, we can leave. Nice one. Got a long run now. Let's go. So the town is slowly building, turning into something of a, a town anyway. So we've got noises. Speak with Frith of the work about noises. I'm going to do the bookworm first because that was the first one. Ask her, ask about her books. Quests it? About.
Mavis Quest. I love to read, but I had to leave all my books behind when I left our old home. I think I saw some old books near the ruins. Do you think you could get them for me? Alright. We could go back and forward here. Wait a minute. I'm going to change this plot. That's this task. Let's do the next one. Let's do Frifford because this ain't doing this house. So something's making noise. Bloody ghost! Disturbing the residents of this home, but my spirit is trapped in this world by other ghosts near the ruins. I must return there now. Please help me. Uh, so both of them are take me to nearby ruins anyway. I think so. Both tasks should be complete together. You'd hope. Go there. Is that it there? Big distance. Sort of leaves falling off the trees. So the trees look quite pretty. I'm expecting some. Oh, I can see them now. The ghosts. I'm not sure what they do. It's not the same. It's not saying how it's not saying how I can hurt them or how they're hurting me, really. It's quite easy with the um dodge button now. With the control pad. Or even taking damage at this point. So I thought that was only two characters, I swear they said he had to kill three. A bit weird. So, find a free books hidden. Oh, that must be books. That's what I'm picking up. Piles of books. Nice one. Find the ghosts of the ruins and destroy them. So, there must be more ghosts. There's another one there. Look. Ah, a couple. But yeah, like I say, that lock on is a problem. So it's all a bit hit and miss. Right, speak to the restless spirit. Now that's two quests done at the same time. Nice one. So, take the books to Mara and speak to the spirit. I'll do this one first one. Maybe if I change it to the spirit active quest. Oh, bleeding spirit's moved. Oh, hello. Right, we'll do with this first then. There you go. She's finished. Seems to me as though the spirit was right near where I um, had the fire. Bleeding confusing. Can I hit this? I just don't know how you collect the mushrooms. Of 
Gut, das ist fast zwei in der Nähe. Running noise is getting a bit irritating. It's almost like a typewriter. Doing my head in a bit, to be honest. Job done. So currently no active task. I'm sure something will pop up. Right, I'm going to leave it there because I think we've seen enough there. We've seen a bit of the town progress, how to build the town. We've got some quests, done some crafting. Um, and it's, you know, it's, there's, there's hope for it. It's early days, but it's two years in really, to be honest. I, I'd have thought, considering 2017, you'd assume it had uh, advanced a bit further by now. But, I don't know. Um, it's worth keeping an eye on, worth having a check, checking it out really. But you'd expect more to be going on really. There's not enough happening throughout the world I don't think because when you get there you only get two two I think it's like two enemies at a time and then you get the next set and they're always just the same as the previous there's no variation at the moment um so yeah there's this potential but still a long way to go in my opinion but still still a bit of fun I've, had a, I've enjoyed myself